Yeah, I had to stop an interview one time. It was in Atlanta. Somebody was trying to uh, go off on my cuz, you know what I'm saying, and say some negative things about him. I stopped the whole interview. I said, man, look, you ain't about to talk to my cuz about my cuz. Mm -hmm. I'm his cousin, mm -hmm. so you're not about to talk about him in front of my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The DJ Daryl's. Right, I saw Kales, that. They were like honorary. We, oh, okay. Did, you know, we can okay. actually say PMC was on it. Mm. Stop he playing. Don't do that on my that's show. Tough. That's that's tough. Tough. Once you do that right there, the whole, this whole show yeah. PMC. will stop. That's my dude. My Let person. me tell you something about PMC, yeah. man. From a kid, ever since I'm older than him, from the tell me something good mm -hmm. when it first jumped off, uh, I've been rocking with this guy. So, yeah. um, yeah, that right there stops the whole show every time. When KL came, <laughs> when uh, he's a Leo, Bobo, uh, Mr. Lee, whoever, mm -hmm. we got to talk about that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because, dude, man. listen, man, how, this I already did the background check on you, man, when players from the South Stack G's. Mm -hmm. Listen, hey, that, hard, that's, that song right there, that's one of the hardest songs. Man, I told Silk, didn't I? I told Silk, I say, arguably, you had one of the better verses on that song for me. Yeah, people was sleeping on Silk. <laughs> you heard just, a lot of people tough. said that he, no, but some, a lot of people say he can't rap. Because he rap off beat. Because he rap off but beat. But I'm telling you on that song, and I played it on, you seen how when I interviewed him, listen, that, of course I'm going to go with, with, with Pimp C, because it was just something about his swag. But lyrically, being a younger dude, Silk was giving them hell back then. And Silk was beat. See, you got to look at Silk in this way. See, it's what you appreciate, what your taste is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can look at a painting, like Picasso. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or people who do abstract, abstract art. I was just thinking about that. They can just put a little splash and, and some people are going to see something from that. Yeah. That's how Silk was with his, with his, um, his wordplay mm -hmm. and, and the way his flow was. He, he just wanted to be different. That, that was him. Mm -hmm. You know, Silk is actually an intelligent guy. You know what I'm saying? All three of the Miller brothers are very mm -hmm. intelligent. You know what I'm saying? That's my blood. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, uh, yeah. And the, see, I'm going to tell you what. I had some of the better sessions with Silk. You know, from, you know, uh, if it ain't, you know, if, if I don't got her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that right there, you know, that was very fun and very interesting to see him do what he do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I had to stop an interview one time. It was in Atlanta. Somebody was trying to uh, go off on my cuz, you know what I'm saying, and say some negative things about him. I stopped the whole interview. I said, man, look, you ain't about to talk to my cuz about my cuz. Mm -hmm. I'm his cousin, mm -hmm. so you're not about to talk about him in front of my face. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Silk was dope. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I really appreciated Silk. Man, I think, I, like I said, I'm. that's why I went and interviewed him, because I mm -hmm. like him. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I thought... You know, he, he was a younger dude during that time. And so to me, with him being a younger guy, the, the next generation always carried a vision for me. Mm -hmm. he, you know, when you look at history and the way things unfold. So I already know, and something he said in that interview, he said if if Drake would have been uh, rhyming some of the things he said, they'd have looked at it as, the ones who don't like him would look at him as great mm -hmm. because it's just the way people are. Petition for us because we look and say who gonna make the best verse, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people try to play you and say, Oh, Sick the Shocker, the worst one that was on the whole thing, you know, but you was you were selling more records than everybody. Yeah. So explain that to me, like how do you how do you maneuver in a place like that? You still maintain your I'm still I think it's because of self awareness. It, I, I'm gonna answer that for you almost. Yeah. That, right? right, what do you think? All right, Silk the <laughs> <laughs> But what do you think? Um when I was doing it, I felt like I was the best. When Mystical was doing it, he felt like he was the best. And it made for good TV. And so to me, um, man, I'm telling you, when I was doing it, and people around me when I was doing it, they appreciated it. The outside people who just didn't care to appreciate it at all would be like, it ain't that good. You're, you're a horrible mm -hmm. rapper. And the people in the camp was like, boy, you, you a fool. But they knew what I was doing. So it's be like, but if I gave it to Drake or something, the same flow, and he did it, it'd be like, oh my God, it's the best thing in the world. So I knew that, I didn't know that then, but I know it now, because yeah. everybody asks me, because I changed up a little bit. Sometimes you gotta fail to succeed, but just never fail to believe. Yeah. But they like, you gotta go back, so we want the old silk. 
second line. And I agree with him on that. You know what I mean? Because you gotta, you pretty much, you, you you have to sell what you what you what you're giving out. You have to convince. It's your the way you bring it. And I think, like I say, for that time, his confidence level, even the Hot Boys movie, when you look at his acting and all mm -hmm. that, how proud of you was it when you when you uh, when you seen the Hot Boys movie and all that stuff happening? Some of the uh, cast, uh, our has Hot Boys yeah. movie. Yes. You know what? When that came out, I never saw it. Really? I never saw it. We were working. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.